wanted to show you my new little addition to the family. His name is Gizmo. We actually named him G Grizzy. And then I'm like, Grizzy? Gizzy better. And then we're like, G Grizzy? And my boyfriend started calling him Gizmo, and it's just really cute. So that's his name. It's a boy. It's a Pomeranian. He came from a shelter, and he's only nine weeks old. He doesn't like being on camera. He's really grumpy. Oh, you cute little thing. I want to eat you. Mm, yes. Look at his face is like still flat. Isn't it cute? He is the cutest little fur ball. Look. Look how little he is. His little feet. Look at his little feet. Oh, <laughs> He's tiny. Well, I'm going to let him down. And then, come here, Chanel. You've been neglected. I'm sorry. Can't really hold her because she's shedding a lot of hair. Like crazy. But this is my other little monkey, Chanel. And she's really jealous of Gizmo. So, I'm going to let them play. So, I got back from New York on Sunday. And... I was supposed to come back at, well I did, but what happened, I went to New York for the Chictopia 10 um, event that they, that they had and it was really, really exciting and interesting. I learned a lot about blogging and they had some really great speakers. Um, they had like the founder of ModCloth.com. I also met a really good friend, her name is Catherine Liu and I'll put her blog on the sidebar. She's really fun to hang around with. So I hung around with her for the most part while we were in New York and we we're both from California and stuff. So you can check her out. I'll put her link on the sidebar. And um, yeah, I just want to thank Chictopia for inviting me to this event. It's really, it was really, really a lot of fun. We had dinner and it was just a great experience overall. So um, you can check out my blog for the pictures. I took a lot of pictures, but um, I still got to figure out how to work my camera because some of the pictures didn't come out as I expect them to, so a lot of them are not posted on my blog. So just like I guess the good ones are on my blog. Um, besides that, I was in New York for two nights, three days, and on Sunday I was flying back to LA. I found out I was flying from JFK at 9 p.m. when I got to JFK, and I was like, the lady, she's like, yeah, you don't fly out till 9. I was like, are you serious? I'm here at 11 in the morning. And she's like, well, I could put you on the standby list. So they put me on the standby list. I was hoping, since I was there really early in the morning, that I would go on the next flight to L.A. at 1 p.m. Well, that didn't happen. And then they put me on another standby list for 2 and then at 7. And I just ended up being for 10 hours at JFK. And I didn't want to go back to Manhattan because... That's a $50 cab ride, and I had to book another hotel because I was lugging around my luggage. So the point is, is that I had a really bad day Sunday. Um, I spent 10 hours at the airport by myself, really, really bored, especially, like, you know you're bored if you spend 10 hours at the airport with somebody. Well, I was alone, and I was freaking bored. I went to the bookstore, I bought a lot of magazines, and then my arm was hurting because I was looking around like 30 magazines so I just threw them all away at the end of the night and then at 9 I had to fly out to LA for four and a half hours on a plane and then the lady didn't even feed me I was hungry I was like starving hoping I would get a good meal I was like very grumpy because I was very like ah like anxious I want to go home I'm tired and then I get to LA and I get lost not no I get lost trying to find my car because I was already tired and I wasn't even thinking straight I was really out of it I lost my car and it was just a long story it sucked and then I finally got home I took the long way home too because my GPS wants to take me the long way I don't know why but anyways um I thought I'd share with you guys some of the things that I got from Sara, because I came back and my boyfriend had a little puppy for me and I've been asking him for a puppy for the longest time because, another one, because I wanted Chanel to have somebody to play with and so she wouldn't be lonely and so we, she, he got me another boy palm and I was like so happy so that totally made my day and he also made me a bouquet of flowers of synthetic ones 
But I just thought it was really sweet because these I can keep forever. And he picked them out, he put them together, he wrapped it up, and he did all these things. As a matter of fact, let me show you. How pretty! And it has a little balloon. These look like he paid somebody to make them. <laughs> Anyways, so... I guess, let me just show you some of my favorite shoes. I'm not going to do a big ass haul, but, oops, I'm not going to do a big haul, but I'll definitely show you my top spring shoes, and then I'll kind of talk about some of my favorite products for beauty-wise, I guess. If you're wondering where I got this dress, it's from, H, uh, it's from Zara, and I picked it out yesterday. I went to go pick up my shoes that I've been wanting for the longest time. So these are the shoes that I'm talking about. You could get them at Zara. I had to drive an hour away to pick up these babies because every store that I went to, it was like size 6 was sold out. So I had to call and put them on hold so I could make sure I got them. But I picked these up yesterday and they're just some like, kind of like tennis shoes, booties, wedges, and a tan. And these are so cute. These are from Forever 21, like simple cutouts, and these are surprisingly very comfortable too because the platform is, it's about maybe half an inch. Anything half an inch um, in platform, it's going to be uncomfortable. Anything more than that, you can count that your shoes are going to be quite comfortable. So those are from Forever 21, and then these wedges are from Aldo. These are my favorite pair of um cut out kind of like sandal wedges but definitely very comfortable as you can see a platform and this is just a set this is like such a nice color they also have them in black but I had to get this color this is definitely me um, so that's it and then I also got these from Aldo and these are just some black booties um, they look like that very simple if you ever buy a pair of shoes that has the bottom like this. It really doesn't have any grit. So these are very slippery. So what I recommend doing is getting a pair of scissors or grab a key and then just kind of scrape it. Like just grab it and scrape it and that way you don't slip and fall and stuff because this is actually, it's very smooth so it's very very slippery. Am I recording? Yes I am. Yesterday I was recording a makeup collection video and I went through every drawer and then I pressed the button to turn it off and then the button, the rec button went on so I didn't record anything. And then these are over the knee boots and these are by Bronx, the, um, the Senna Now over the knee leather boots. Um, these you can find at endless.com. That's where I got mine. I'll put the link for these too. But these are freaking cute. Oh my god. Um, they lace up all the way through the front, all the way to the top, and then they have like this buckle here, which, since I'm short, it kind of hits my kneecap, so it's kind of hard for me to like walk because I can't move my knees, so I have to put it down below my knees, and these are just really, really long, and I just think it's cute because of the front, so, and then they lace up through the front here. Um, a tip, whenever you get a pair of boots, and they're brand new, especially if they're leather, kind of like just right here in the heel part kind of like just squeeze it and play with it because it's gonna allow you it's gonna allow your foot to go in easier and it's gonna be more comfortable for you to walk in when the back of the heel is softer so just do that um, one of the girls at the shoe store taught me that so let me show you my cute tights that I got from Sara these are just some dotted tights I also got these boots from forever 21 but Sara has the exact same ones just double the price but this is what I'm wearing today. It's a long sweater. I went thrift store shopping because I love vintage shopping. And I got like all these amazing... Oh my god, I found this piece. It's so beautiful. I love it. But I won't go through the clothes that I got. Because I also got some stuff from Forever 21. But I will show you like the best find that I found as far as jewelry from the thrift store. And this is just a little basket. Now... As you can see, it's full all the way to the top, but the whole thing is full of junk jewelry. I have this bag for $100, and it's full of vintage watches. Like, 
I really want to get them, but I don't know if they all work, so I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but I could definitely get them fixed. I got some nail polishes. I got my nails done yesterday. Um, not these. I got, um, gels. Gel nails, acrylic, whatever, and, but I got my toes done in bright neon pink toes because spring is coming and all my shoes are almost like cutouts like that so they're going to be peeking through so I wanted to get those but anyways I really love neon and especially when it's it's an accessory or it's um like just your nails it's just like a pop of neon it's really really cute so I went to CVS for some medicine and then I saw this little basket and it was like buy one get one fifty percent off Milani bright neon shades so I picked up all of these shades this is one of my favorites because a bright neon green it's just totally 80s it's a really nice green or a yellowish bright neon <laughs> and then this one here is an awesome orange and we have pink hottie which is a really pretty baby doll pink and then we have pink rocks so it's just a little bit different this is kind of like more of a fuchsia pink and I also picked up a matte black um, this is oily and matte vinyl they have a matte collection or um, a suede collection which is kind of like matte it has a matte finish picked up this one for spring and this is a really nice pretty kind of like um, it's in Minty Minty. This is by Maybelline Express Finish 50 Second Nail Color. And follow me on Twitter, DulceCandy.com, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!